Hi guys! Welcome po sa Hugot Ship na yan. This is Sir JV, your math kahugot, and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa topic natin for today, we're going to have the week 9 of MELC for graded students. So we have elimination method, solving system of linear equation. Tara guys! Mga kamat hugot, mga kari life, let's have this topic. So, ang objective natin for today, guys, is, syempre, to solve system of linear equation in two variables using our letter C, which is elimination method. So, so finding solution for system of linear equation using elimination method. So, guys, yung graphical method, substitution method, and this elimination method are different method in solving system of linear equation. So, ano nga ba yung ating gustong malaman, guys? We're trying to find the point of intersection ng dalawang line. Now, saan, guys, ang point of intersection nito, I'm talking about the ordered pair, ang tinatawag po natin na solution set ng ating dalawang equation. So, it's a point where both equation will be satisfied. So, guys, ano ba yung elimination method? So, the point of intersection is the solution set, sabi daw dito, of a system of linear equation. And we can solve them using elimination method. So guys, what is elimination method? Elimination method is the method we use in solving system of linear equation where we eliminate o nagtatanggal po tayo ng variable. So we get rid of one variable to solve the other. This will be done to get its x and y as ordered pair. So, tandaan, na, natan, tandaan po natin guys na ang sagot po sa system, sa system of linear equation ay laging ordered pair. Isang value for x, isang value for y. Okay. Now, paano ba gawin ng elimination method na to? So, let's have some example. So, kung tandaan nyo po yung example na to, kung talaga nanonood kayo sa channel, maging familiar po kayo dito. So, for our graphical method, elimination method, and substitution method, dalawang example lang binigay ko, which is pare-parehas. Para makapili kayo, which among the three methods are the best method for you guys. So, try natin elimination. We have 2x plus 3y equals to 6 and 4x minus 3y equals to 12. So, pagsasamahin po natin siya, vertically, to eliminate one term here. Guys, ang clue dito, hanapin niyo yung madaling eliminate. So, examining this problem, guys, pag nag eliminate kasi tayo, guys, we're using the process of addition or subtraction. Dito, mas madaling eliminate itong 3y kasi pag in natin siya, may isang 0. Okay. So, we're going to eliminate y to get the value of x. So, pag nag ka ng y, makukuha mo si x. Pag nag ka ng x, makukuha mo si y. Napakasimple, guys, ha? Eliminate si y, kuha si x. Eliminate si x, kuha si y. Okay po. Now, we're going to eliminate so y. So, pansinin nyo, we add or subtract. Pwede kayong mag-add or mag-subtract. Ako guys, personally, ang ginagawa ko, puro add lang. Bakit puro add lang po? So, bibigyan ko ng example later para basa sa nyo, puro add lang. Now, dito kasi, nag-add tayo kasi pag in natin tong 3y na to, tsaka negative 3y, May isang zero. Ayaw ko ng subtraction kasi guys, kasi nagbabago-bago ka pa ng sign. Eh pag addition, madali yan, matik, add mo agad. Pag subtraction kasi, nagbabago-bago ka pa ng sign. Ikat sa bako. So dito, so we're going to add them. So addition ng ating ginawang problem, o ginawang process. So nakancel to kasi may isang zero. Eliminated nga siya. So 2x plus 4, we call 6x. 6 plus 12 ay 3. So ngayon, pwede ka na mag-divide ng 6 sa both equation. We have x equals to 3. So ordered pair, that is 3, 0. So meron ka ng 3, 0 as ordered pair. Now ngayon, ang eliminate naman natin guys ay yung x. Eh pansin nyo, magkaiba siya. Di ba magkaiba? 2x for x? Paano na eliminate to? Diyan papasok guys yung multiplication. 
So, to so for you to have the value of y, we're going to eliminate x. So, multiply the equation by the suitable number to make them equal. So, dito guys, ang gumultiply tayo negative 2. Usually, ang ginagawa ng iba, positive 2 sa amung subtract. Ako, negative agad. Bakit? Para mag-iba agad ang sign. So, pansin nito, pares to positive. Para maging mag-iba ang sign, negative yung multiply ko. It's a option. As mas madali siya, kaysa subtract siya. I'm going to use negative 2 para ma-eliminate agad yung problem natin. O yung ating 2x. Kasi po guys, dito, mag addition lang tayo. Unlike sa subtraction, babaguhin pa natin yung mga sign. Sign, mas nakakalito yun. So, ginawa ko dito, since pares siya yung positive, yung 2x at saka 4x, multiply ko yung negative 2 para mag-automatic ibagad ang sign nila. So, dito, pag multiply mo, Pansin nyo, negative to, negative, negative. Lahat ay nagbago agad ang sign. Di ba, matik? So, ngayon, pwede ka na mag-cancel. So, by process of addition, makakancel out ito since negative positive siya. We have a negative 9y equals to 0 or short y equals to 0. So, ano nga ba ang bayo ng x natin? We have 3 and we have a 0. So, ang sagot natin sa ating problem ay 3 0 So let us test whether 3 0 is correct or not So meron tayong 3 0 Ang clue guys dito Para matest mo kung tama ang sagot mo or hindi Isubdicit mo sa both equation Kapag nasatisfy Ng ating Point Ang both equation Tama po ang sagot niyo. So we have x as 3 and 0 as y. So, same thing. Pinaltan lang po. 2 times 3, 3 times 0. Ito naman ay 4 times 3, negative 3 times 0. So, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times 0, which is 0. In short, 6 equals to 6. Satisfied ang first equation natin. 4 times 3 is 12, negative 3 times 0 is 0. So, 12 din po siya. So, both equation has been satisfied. So, matik, tama po ang 3-0 natin. Yun ang paraan, guys, para ma-check mo kung tama ang inyong sagot or hindi. Di ba? Ngayon, isa pang paraan para ma-check mo siya kung tama, i-graph mo. So, yun ang ating, ating question, guys. Ito yung ginamit natin, guys, kapag tayo ay nag-graphical method. Yan yung equation, guys, na ginawa natin. So, pansin nyo, nag-met sila sa 3-0. At iyan po ang ating sagot. Now, let's try another example. Okay? Now, so we're going to use x plus 5, x plus y equals to 5, and 2x minus y equals to 4. So, same thing will happen. We will cancel them out. So, cancelin natin guys ang ating y dito para mawa ang x. So, add natin, matik. Oh, yeah. We have x plus 2x ay 3x yan sigurado. 5 plus 4 is 9. So we have a 3x equals to 9. Dividing both sides by 3, we have x equals to 3. So meron na tayong 3 as our answer. So meron tayong x equals to 3. Ngayon, we're going to eliminate our x. So sabi ko sa inyo guys, since para silang positive, magmumultiply tayo ngayon ng negative sa kanila. So, multiply natin sa ibabaw ay negative 2. May siyang negative 2x minus 2y equals to negative 10. So, pares pa rin tayo ng prasa. Eliminate x to get the value of y. Multiply kung ano man yung number na kailangan mo para maging parehas yung equation. So, same thing here. Nag-multiply tayo ng negative 2. We have negative 2x, negative 2y, and negative 10. So, ngayon tayo ay mag add Okay? Now, pag in natin yan, Pansin nyo ito, makakancel ulit ito. We have a negative 3y and a negative 6. So guys, rules of integers to ha. Huwag na huwag kakalimutan. Lalo na pag add ng mga terms ha. Pag kayo nagkamali diyan, check na mali ang inyong sagot. After all guys, may rechecking naman tayo. Malaman natin kung tama sagot nyo based on our rechecking. Okay? Now, dividing both sides by negative 3, we have y equals to 2. Ang x natin ay 3. Ang y natin ay 2. 
Let us recheck kung tama ang ating mga sagot. So, let us test. Same problem. Anong gagawin dito, guys? Substitute lang. So, pag nireplace natin yan, can you still follow? 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So, definitely tama ang ating first problem. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. That is 4. So, pag ginawa natin yan, that is correct. So, 3 to satisfy both equation since 3 to naman talaga ang ating sagot. Okay? May isa pang, may isa pang paraan para recheck. Ano nga to? I-grab. So, pag ginarap natin yan, yan po ang ating sagot. Okay? So, guys, I hope you learned something from our discussion. So, recall ulit natin ha. Kapag mag eliminate ka ng X, kailangan aki... O oh guys, para sa recall natin. So, kapag mag eliminate ka ng X, so guys, recall natin kung paano ba yung elimination method. Kapag kukunin natin ng Y, eliminate natin si X. Kapag kukunin natin si X, eliminate natin si Y. At saka guys, tandaan, kapag hindi pareha sa kanilang term, magmultiply ka ng number na magiging pareha sila. Gamitin ang negative sign noong number na pwede para maging pareha sila. Hindi po ba? So, I hope you learned something from our discussion, guys. So, if you have some question, queries, and you may comment it below on this video. So, para malaman natin kung tama o natutunan ninyo ang ating discussion, guys. So, I'm going to give you the two problem here. I hope you already know our answer for that kasi nagawa niya rin siya from our previous video. Pero try pa rin natin kung alam ninyo yung process. Yung process kasi po ang importante. You have 5 minutes guys. Good luck!
Okay, 5 minutes up. Let us test whether you have the right answer or not. For number 1, we have negative 3, 1. And for number 2, we have 5, 0. Okay, so yun po sagot natin. Alam po, alam nyo na yung sagot na yan. So, I hope we learned something from our discussion for today. So, if you have some question, guys, queries, suggestion, recommendation, and lahat ng may shown, you may comment it below on this video. And I hope you learned something from our discussion. So, thank you, God bless, and see you on the next video, mga kamatugot, and God bless po. Ingat po.